For me, the environment was always an important factor. Having a meaningful job that made a difference. Well, I'm Megan Hoban and I'm a recent graduate from Carleton University in Mechanical Engineering. I recently accepted a new position with the Emission Research and Measurement section of Environment and Climate Change Canada. Every time I speak to the new generation, I feel like I felt when I first started. Like, wow, this is fascinating and I have a hand in making a difference. My name is Deborah DeGrasse. I work for Transport Canada's Innovation Centre. I am the Chief of the Rail and the Aviation R&D Portfolio. What I like about the Innovation Centre is our ultimate goal is to enhance the safety and environmental performance and security of the transportation system. My name is Martha Christensen. I'm with the Road Research Group. When I was in high school, I loved math and science. Once you have those fundamentals, you can apply it to solving environmental problems, problems in health fields. What you know can be applied in so many ways. It also gives you very good reasoning skills, logic skills, in order to attain greater positions within any organization. I've seen fantastic women leaders, especially in the industry, that have uh, solid engineering backgrounds. It will equip you to whatever role you would like to play. We're very multidisciplinary. We have mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, environmental engineers, civil, chemical engineers, computer systems, and aerospace engineers. More and more we need data engineers and engineers that are capable of developing and working with automated and connected vehicle systems, intelligent transportation systems. Some of the key skills that the engineers today need are curiosity, and in order to work with a multidisciplinary team in a real-world environment, communication is really critical. Communications is certainly important. That's how you make the connection between what you're doing and the impact it's going to have. We often have to communicate with non-technical audiences, but we also have to be able to communicate with technical experts. You know, if you enjoy math and science, and you're also interested in that connection with the real world and the impact that your work can have, engineering is a great route to take.